Hi, I'm Suzanne Matson. Welcome to this whiteboard session on impactful status reporting. That's a report you send to your stakeholders every week or every two weeks. My experience tells me that many project managers treat this as a bit of a tick boxing exercise. They write about what they did in the last period and what they are going to do in the next period and they just quickly want to get it over and done with. But that's a bit of a missed opportunity. Behind me here I've drawn up an example of an impactful status report. Let's look at it. At the top we've got some standard fields such as who is a project manager and the sponsor, the date and the rack, red, amber, green status. And then I've got some space here for progress and achievements. It's a bit of an executive summary. And then here on the right, items for escalation. You see, you have a senior audience. There may be senior executives reading your report. So why not take the opportunity to tell them what you're waiting for from them? The majority of the report here is allocated to milestones. Executives want to know if your project is on track. There is no better way of showing that than highlighting the milestones, the date, red, amber, green status, and who the owner is. If a milestone is not on track, we want to know who to go to for an answer, and then any, any comments you may have. And at the bottom here, we have the top five risks and issues. Again, your stakeholders want to know what's really going on in the project. What are the real risks and issues of the project? So raise them here, but always tell them what action you are taking to address these risks and issues. And again, who the owner is. Now, a word of caution. Never raise a new risk or issue in this report for the first time. No one likes bad surprises when they open up that report. Always call a stakeholder first or see them face to face. In that way, you can explain what's really going on. Now, it may also be that your stakeholders would like to see a visual element, like a bar chart or graphs. So don't take my word for it. Ask them what they would really like to see. Tailor your report to their needs. At the bottom here, you can include some information about the budget. Now, it may be that you are not able to create the kind of report that you would ideally like. It may be that your report is pre-generated from your system. If that's the case, Make the data come alive by telling a compelling story. Thank you for watching. Please visit us again at projectmanager.com.